So here we have the Fiat 500 semi-automatic on a 69 plate. I'm gonna start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside, you can see it's a three door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with the 50-50 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase that space even further. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way round. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard. So let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter. We have the digital readout for the speedometer in that middle section just there. And various bits of trip computer also appear in that section as well. We're back out to the steering wheel. On the left-hand side, we have stereo and phone controls. And on the right-hand side, more stereo controls and further phone controls as well. The phone controls can only be used after such time as you paired the phone up, which is done on the touch screen in the center here. You will also see this car has got satellite navigation, uh, powered by TomTom, so a really, really good system. There's a full video that shows how this works. You can find on our website and also on our YouTube channel as well. When it comes to music in this car, we have the radio, of course, and you'll see there we have DAB, FM, and AM radio. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do. You do that under the media heading just here. There's plenty of ways to listen to it. Nothing is connected at the moment, but you can connect up a USB device. You can also stream your music wirelessly uh, via Bluetooth audio as well, and you can see that being shown on the screen just there. Working our way down from that, we have this collection of buttons here, first of all. So that one makes the steering lighter, so it puts it into city steering mode. Uh, you'll know it's done that because when you press it, it will come up just in here to say that you put it into its city mode. We then have our hazard warning lights, front and rear fog lights, and then the air conditioning beneath that. So you can determine the temperature, the fan speed, whether you're bringing in fresh air from outside the car or recirculating the air that's in it, and where that air is being redirected once it enters the vehicle. You'll know air conditioning is on because there's a little light comes on within that button, so it's now off, back on again. Under that, we have our rear heated screen. We can also turn off our stop and start and traction control from down there as well. We then have passenger and driver electric windows and the gear uh, lever for the semi-automatic gearbox. So we've got neutral, automatic, upper gear, down a gear, reverse. So very, very easy to do. This car also has a uh, sunroof of sorts, so you have this manual sun blind you can open up, and then you have this window section which is fixed in place, but obviously lets in a lot of extra light. All that leads me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.